Well, guys, welcome to the lab of the very mad scientist. That's now, she's, mad. Been, she's been gone for a while, but yeah, Erin, what exciting experiment do we have for the viewers today? Well, today we're going to be chatting about water. Now, I'm born, bred, raised, everything in Cape Town. Mac, on the other hand, comes from a little place called Klaxop up north. <laughs> and what Mac and I, aside from the fact that we were born in sort of different locations, we now have in common is the fact that our water, depending on where we live, will be different. And that's something that a lot of people know about South Africa. While we have some of the cleanest water in the world, mm -hmm. and one of very few countries that actually has tap water that you can drink, our water is not the same everywhere. So, there are what we call soft water, and there are what we call hard water regions. Okay. Mac comes from a hard water region. Mm -hmm. I come from a soft water region. Now Do you even know what hard water is? I don't know. Hard? You said hard and soft water. Hard and soft water. Tell okay. Me the so basically, hard water is water that has too much calcium and magnesium in it. Soft water is water that just has normal levels, which is why it's called hard and soft. Okay. But now, if you live in a hard water region, there's a couple of ways that you can identify that you have hard water. First of all, it tastes just a little bit different, but that you'd have to find it if you travel all around the country and drank the water. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you'll find that you have a lot of problems with your kettle. Especially, you know, you see that there's like lime scale forming and the elements inside your kettle, you need to replace it really often. And you also find that you have problems with your taps, with any of your water pipes, with your swimming pool pump, etc. Finally, how you definitely know you'll have hard water, mm -hmm. you have trouble washing up your dishes. Is it? Silly but true. And that's today's experiment and that's what I'm going to show you. Okay. So what you're going to need is two uh, plastic bottles, basically exactly the same. You're going to need some dishwashing liquid because we're going to try and wash dishes here. Okay. You're going to need distilled water. Now we're using distilled water specifically so we don't have to use tap water so that you eliminate whether, what region you're in. Distilled okay. water is pure, it's neutral. And finally, you're going to need some Epsom salts which you can get at any pharmacy. Now Epsom salts, is basically just a whole lot of magnesium and that's what we're going to do. We're going to fake right. hard water by putting too much magnesium in the water. So first things first, we are water. going to put some water and we're going to put the same amount in each bottle. So we're not going to do a lot because the effect we want to see, so we're just going to pour, 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 pour in here. Now where can we get the distilled water? Well, distilled water you can actually get from any um, hardware store that does auto supplies because distilled water is actually used in car batteries. Oh. Yeah, that's what they put in your car when you go to the garage and you ask them for water for your battery. Okay, now we're going to take a little bit of Epsom salts. Mac, pick a bottle, any bottle. And we're just going to put it in <laughs> here. And Mac's going to be my little assistant and he's just going to shake this up until the Epsom salts dissolve. Now the other cool thing about Epsom salts is that you can actually grow crystals from Epsom salts. But that I'll do another time. So shake that up for me please, Mac. There we go, bottle top on. Okay. Right, I'm going to shake this up, you shake this up and do that. So what I'm going to do right now is add a couple of drops of dishwashing liquid to our regular water over here. There we go. Is that all dissolved? Mm -hmm. And now we're going to do the same to this over here. Do, 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 do. In it goes. Okay. There now we're go. going to have some fun. Let's shake this up. Okay. Woo! Okay. Now, usually when you shake up a bottle and it's filled with water and you put dishwashing liquid in it, wow. that's what happens. It forms up than... with foam. Hard water, there is no foam, and that's exactly what it does. Hard water basically prevents detergents from working the way they're supposed to. They basically strip the detergent of the capability to make bubbles, and that's why you struggle to do your dishes in a hard water region. You can try as hard as you want, it's not going to happen. Wow. So there you go. If you live in a hard water region, now you know exactly how that works, and also you'll be pretty surprised to find out that you can find little tablets that soften your water, and also your municipality usually treats the water before it gets to you, so you shouldn't have problems to begin with. 